Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Celine Driver once again. I am coming to you today with yet another uh, unboxing and review of a guest watch. Uh, this watch was uh, kindly loaned to the channel by my good friend Chris, who runs the Watch Lounge um, on uh, YouTube. Uh, definitely someone that you might want to go check his channel out and give him a like and a subscribe. Uh, it is definitely worth it. He's trying to grow his channel just as I'm trying to grow mine. And he really does review some great watches on that channel. Uh, so go seek out the Watch Lounge and watch a few of his videos and tell him Celine Driver sent you. Not that that'll do me any good, but <laughs> it'll be nice to know where that light came from. Um, he had, I had loaned into him a watch and he loaned me a couple in return, including this uh, Vostok um, Expedition watch. <coughs> Pardon me. No, that was not Corona. That was just dry throat. Um, very nice watch. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, big watch. <laughs> One of the biggest watches I've ever strapped on my wrist in terms of diameter. Um, but a really, really nice watch. It really actually wears very well but you have to have the wrist for it. So I'm going to open her up and let you see. Now, the first thing is you notice this thing comes in a very nice dry case, heavy duty plastic. I mean, this is, this is the real deal, folks. This is no joke. This is a case that, um, you know, you can throw this with the watch in it against the wall and it's not going to hurt anything. The latches are on the other side and they are tough to deal with. Let me show you. <clears throat> First time I did that, I hurt myself. I just banged the hell out of my knuckle. And inside the dry case, you have. Ta da! I might move it closer. There you go. Nice foam all around with that very nice uh, logo. Uh, you have nothing under there. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think that I think this is a point you can use to break a, a glass window on a on a car or something. Um, it does unscrew, which, and it does have a uh, spring bar tool, which is nice. I wonder if that's reversible. I didn't play with it. Nope. Anyway, very nice. Made out of aluminum, or as you euros say, aluminium. You're you're pronouncing it wrong. Sorry, it's aluminum. Very nice. There's something here too. Kind of a. I don't know what that is. It's not really very sharp, except you know. Well, you could probably cut skin if you forced it, but don't bring that on an airplane. That's for damn sure. Or if you do, put it in your checked luggage. <laughs> TSA will crawl all over you. Have a nice leather strap. I assume it leather. Looks like leather. Might be rubber. Oh, hang on, let me see if it's open. No, it's no, it is open. I, oh, wait, is this open? Yeah, it's open. Hang on, man. No, nope, my bad. It's not leather. It's rubber. Sorry, my bad. Don't hate me. Nice rubber. It smells a little vanilla-ish. Very soft, very compliant. I don't think it's ever been mounted to the watch. Actually, I don't know why I would think it was leather since the strap on this thing is already leather. Now, the minute I take this watch out, this case is going to tilt, so... You know, that'd be, you know, whoop, clunk. See. Anyway, there. So, we have the Vostok Expedition. This is a big boy. Big, big watch. Big, meaty sucker. Unidirectional. Um, 
bezel lines up nicely no wobble very nice bezel action very very smooth very very positive detents it's really a nice watch so now as you see it says expedition everest underground that takes a little explaining the watch is a commemorative watch, um, a limited edition of 3,000 pieces. This is number 81. This is a pretty low number. It was made to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the world record expedition to the deepest cave in the world, 2,197 meters. I don't know what that translates into real measurement, but that seems to be pretty deep to me. Um but it is a big hunk of a watch. I love the blue. It really looks good. And I'm not a big fan of brown straps in general, and certainly not with a blue watch face, but this works, guys. It really does. I, I personally would change it to black myself if I owned it, but that's me. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I do with my watches what I, do, what I want, but this is not my watch. Very nice watch. So it's a commemorative uh, watch. It has very nice uh, artwork on the back. Very nice engraving. As you can see, tritium illumination. I did a loom, a picture of a loom shot. Uh, you'll see that on the uh, at the end of the video. As I said, you can see right there, 81 out of 3,000. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I really, I really like this watch. I'm going to put this on and see how big this is. Take a minute here. Sorry, I had to move it off camera to do that. You know what the funny thing is? The watch is so big that uh, the strap has so much room on it that I'm too sets of notches from the end on this on this strap and i have a seven and a quarter inch wrist so this watch was made for someone with you know i, I mean like a nine inch wrist or something crazy like that i mean look at all the look at all the holes that you get and i'm second from the bottom on this so seven and a quarter inch wrist is pretty good size wrist but this thing is made for godzilla i mean i can't imagine and you can see it's pretty, pretty big boy on my uh, on my wrist. I mean, the wrist overhang, the the lug overhang is is pretty pretty much at I'm at its limit, I think, in terms of I mean, maybe someone with a seven inch wrist could get away with it. After that, it's going to look comical. But uh, if you like it, you have a seven inch wrist or less. Uh, I'd say go ahead and get it, but just be be warned. This thing is, and and thank God it has a flat crystal. <laughs> you know, you dome that crystal, and that's really going to look crazy. But hell of a watch, hell of a watch. Now this is model number is YN eighty four dash five nine seven A five four five. There are, I believe, four different colorways in this particular model, I think. And uh, this is one of them. Nice watch. Anyway, sheet of facts time for all the folks that like the, the geeky information, like me. Uh, big watch, 48 millimeter in diameter. And yes, I double checked that, 48 millimeter diameter case 17 and a half millimeters thick now that's not the thickest watch i have but it is well i don't have this watch it's not mine but if it were mine this would be in the top four i only have two watches that are thicker than this and they're both from uh from zelos but they're smaller diameter which helps it is a 200 meter water resistant watch 24 millimeter lug width that means putting this thing on other straps is going to be 
not as easy as a 20 or a 22, but doable. For, for instance, I know that my favorite aftermarket strap provider, Collareb, has many offerings in the 24 millimeter range. And uh, you'll, you know, you'll be able to find it. Uh, hard, uh, a hardened K1 crystal. That information comes off their website, so I, I you know, I double check that. It is a K1 hardened crystal. It has 16 tritium tubes for illumination. Uh, you can see the tubes at the indices. You two up there and then there, all the way around. Those are tritium tubes. There are also tritium tubes on the hour hand and on the minute hand. So that's uh, 13 on the dial, 14, 15. I'm not sure where the 16th one is. I think it might be on the power indicator. Anyway, you'll see that on the loom shot that I provide. It is a Seiko Epson YN84 movement with a 40 hour power reserve. It is a automatic movement. The power reserve is this dial here at the 12 o'clock position. It is a screw down crown with a very satisfying pop when it releases. It is a hand wind and hackable movement. No date. It has a 24 hour indicator at the six o'clock position. Sign crown. Big chunky watch and i love me a big chunky watch i really do i'm really gonna be sad to see this one go back to chris but that's you know that's the way it goes and uh um i don't know if i could live with this thing for you know for a long time because of its size but you know i can i can wear the watch that big it's just do i want to and for a while the answer would be yes but after a while it would be mm, maybe <laughs> But it's a beautiful watch. I love the blue dial, the blue uh, bezel insert. It, it, it just works very well. It's really a very nice watch to look at. It's a nice watch to wear. Sign buckle. Great watch. I really appreciate Chris loaning this one into me. I really enjoy having this around and I'm going to wear it for a few days and I'm going to send it back. So, um, with that, I'll do my wrap-up a bit here, because there's not much more to say. It's really just a fantastic, big, beautiful, bold statement watch. If you got the wrist to pull it off, I'd go find one and make it your own. If you like the video, thumbs up would be appreciated. Clicking the thumbs up, clicking the like button, whatever you want to call it, helps my channel become more searchable by the algorithms on YouTube makes people uh, find the channel easier and helps me grow the channel. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions down there in the comment section. I read them all. I respond to them all. If, if you get nasty with me or mean or just downright dumb, I'll delete the comment before it's ever seen and I'll block you. That's all there is to that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, or you've been here a little while and you haven't done so already, or what are you waiting for? Click that red subscribe button for me, please. Click the bell icon next to it so that when I upload new content, you are alerted. Uh, you don't want to miss these videos, especially since we're all, as I'm making these videos, we're all kind of stuck in the house. Uh, I'm here to entertain you. Hopefully before I get sick, which I hope I don't. Anyway, uh, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy other videos I've made and I will look forward to seeing you the next time I shoot.